<sighs> What's going on, guys? It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, and this is episode eight and nine of Code Geass um, reaction. This is eight and nine review. Okay, so as you can see, um, in epi in episode eight, we have the form the 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 um the forming of the black knights okay and i love that aspect i love the speech at the end of that episode where lelouch was talking and talking about what the black knights are going to represent and my thoughts on that it's 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 very good it's very good i liked everything about what he said um what he's going to stand for i love the fact that he did not um that he decided to save the britannians the ones that had nothing to do with the war or they're not out there killing people, even though they treat the Elevens like they're shit because they feel like they're a minority and stuff like that. And they in certain terms, you know what I'm saying? You can't pick and choose who you want to save when it comes on to these things. You can't pick and choose. You can't. You don't know if some of these people. We already know that Yuffie was there and Yuffie is an advocate for both sides you get what i'm saying but other than that you can't you don't really know who else is there that that would have the same mindset as yuffie as a britannian so you can't go there and be like oh you 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 get saved and then you guys can stay and die <laughs> you know what i'm saying you can't do that so you have to save everybody and in in terms of though in 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 that sense you have to go in with the mindset of you know, you just have to go with the mindset of just saving everybody and to understand that if you're innocent, if you are innocent to be proven guilty, if if you are guilty, you get what I'm saying? You have to you you have to as the hero, you have to stand up for that person also until they're proven guilty. It's not about picking and choosing um who you think might be or you can't just generalize everybody and put everybody in the same bracket and say oh all britannians are bad i don't think all of them are bad i just think um that it's the it's the culture that they're that they're um raised in they're raised to understand that hey these people are below you so you don't have to show them any respect so as you can see um guy that was that was selling the hot dogs and whatever he got he got beat up in episode nine you know and you know lelouch what was saying even though you know i i you know she um callan she wanted to step in but lelouch stopped her and was like listen if he's choosing to, to do that you can't do anything about it you really shouldn't and it's it's the honest truth he has a he has a choice you know, just like everybody else, he does have a choice. He has to make a living just like anybody else, but he looks like he's sold his soul to the to to the to the quote unquote devil. You know what I'm saying? Like the way how he was acting, because even when he saw them and he realized that they were Britannian students, he was like groveling at their feet. Can, can I get you anything? Can I can I get you anything? It's it, it's uh, there's so I mean I I I'm falling in love with this anime because it draws so many parallels from real life and i love when i watch as an adult i love to watch stuff like that because it it never takes you away from the real you know what i'm saying like it's not so sci-fi or fiction where you don't see these things happening in, in in real life in the real world you know it's not so far from that and i'm glad that the writers are doing are doing a great job of portraying that now in episode nine you have we learn about Callan's mother and my first instinct when I saw that was that um, when when she was explaining why her mother is there because I didn't know that it was her mother from the first time she was introduced and she she looked like she dropped a, a chandelier or some something it, it, it's it's great and I was like why is she so clumsy and knocking stuff over all the time and then you know the way they how cold Callan was with her. I thought she was just a maid or whatever. And then she said, "Oh, it's her mom." And her mom. At first, I was thinking, "Why is she there?" You know what I'm saying? And, and I was like blaming the dad because the dad 
must have kept her there, you know, because, you know, the Britannians are, you know, they're class one a-holes. So it's not so far-fetched to think that the dad took on another woman and just discarded her and started treating her like a slave or a maid or whatever the situation is, which which could still end up which could still end up being the situation not as in she being a slave but as in him choosing to go with someone else because she's not worthy enough to be with him you know what i'm saying it still could end up being that but then so after that when i learned that it was her mom you know my first instinct on why because because she was like she has a choice she doesn't have to work there at the house but she's choosing to be there so once i learned that that she has a choice to be there i knew off bat it must be because of count it ain't no other reason it has to be because of her why she stayed that's her daughter you want to be close to your daughter you don't want to have to have visitation and stuff like that so she'll take the abuse as long as she gets to stay around her daughter which is pretty cool and pretty heartfelt right so i like that Stuff like that is being played out. Very interesting conversation between Lelouch and Suzaku. Um, um, where where Suzaku was talking and saying, you know, it doesn't make any sense. You know, Suzaku is one of those guys where they're going to be like, why not take the right route? Why, why you got to be a vigilante? You know what I'm saying? Like, he, why not go join the police force and try to make a difference? If you think that the police are killing too many people of color why don't you go join the police force you know what i'm saying and try to make a difference try to change it from within which is the right way to go about things it's not about to seeing cops on the street and shoot them in the head that is the right way to go and i feel his perspective wholeheartedly also you know what i'm saying but um as long as i i feel like when it comes on to heroes or vigilantes I think what they're doing is okay. And I think stuff like that should be sanctioned by law and it shouldn't be an outlaw for people to actually, because you have the right to arrest people in real life as a citizen's arrest, as long as you're not doing it with a deadly weapon. So if you can take somebody down and like zip tie their hands behind their back and stuff like that and have a, and have a witness and stuff like that, you, that it's a legitimate citizen's arrest and you know if the person attacks you right or if you see them attacking somebody else right it can be a legitimate citizen's arrest right so i'm not saying that you know I, you know we're not talking about superhero stuff here i'm talking about just seeing stuff that is wrong and taking matters into your own hand to say, oh, I'm not going to stand here and seeing that happening and not do anything about it if you have the skills. You know what I'm saying? So say, for instance, you're an MMA fighter and you see something going down, uh, you know, somebody beating somebody up and almost beating them to death. Are you going to sit there and not do anything and be like, oh, no, I'm not getting involved in that. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you got to try and help that person. That's what I believe. I mean, even if I'm not an MMA fighter and I see something like that going down, I'm going to try to jump in, push the guy off of the guy, do something. Even if I get my ass whooped, at least I knew, I no, I probably would have saved the other person's life that's getting beat up. That's how I think about things. So when it comes on to vigilantism, you know, I believe it's very necessary in very specific situations. If you see somebody being attacked with a deadly, like if somebody holding a gun and holding a gun, like an armed robbery situation, like I don't advise, like if you do not have the training on how to, to apprehend that situation, if you have a deadly weapon on you, like if say for instance you have a gun a store is getting robbed you're in the store you have a deadly weapon and you want and you want to fire back you know what i'm saying if the person like kills someone and that's a whole different story i don't know what to tell you if that situ if you end up in a situation like that what you supposed to do i don't want to put it out there for anybody to be like oh so i could do that no you know what i'm saying if you do not know what you're doing and you can't assess the situation where you can um, do it without 
without killing a person. Like, if somebody is shooting up a school, trust me, if you have a deadly weapon on you, take that sucker down. Period. Point blank. They shooting up the place. They killing people. You have a gun on you. Take that sucker down. Don't tackle him. Take him down. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no shooting in the leg. Aim for the head. People like that needs needs to go. They don't, they, you know what I'm saying? You shooting up a school or a mall or a place where people are crowded, running cars into in, into people and stuff like that. So many different things that goes on in the news, man. It's, it's just crazy how, how these people are just doing these things. I mean, I don't want to get into all of that, but, you know, I just wanted to give my point of view and draw a little bit of parallel from real life and what this anime is trying to portray. And I get it why a lot of people don't like it because of there's not a lot of action in this anime. And it's also one of the reasons why I love it. It's also one of the reasons why I love it is because it's not super flashy. You get what I'm saying? We use we're, we're not using it, the, the nightmares or not the feature of the show the, the show is all about strategy political power um if you want to go as far as to say racism you get what i'm saying you know it's about those issues you know and they're doing a very good job of showing things from different sides and i really dig that um, from different people, from Suzaku's perspective, from Lelouch's perspective, from Callan's perspective, from Cornelia's perspective, Euphys' uh, um, perspective. It's just so many different perspectives. And, you know, you have the people who are unaware, you know, the students of Britannia. They're so unaware. They, they're, like, worried about certain things, but they're not really worried. You know what I'm saying? It's the pampered bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't give a shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they see the issues, but, you know, they care more about the, their day-to-day -day living than anything else. You know what I'm saying? The people who just go on, you know, just, do -do 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 I'm just here to live and die. You know what I'm saying? So you, there are those people in life that could care less what happens to other people. So it's, you know, so they see it. They were in the midst of it this time in episode, um, was it eight or nine? No, it was, it was eight. They get, they got saved in episode eight. Okay. So they were amongst them that got saved. And so that was pretty cool. So, and they still. They just went back like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Now they're dressing up in cat suits, and that's what I'm saying. No care at all, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So in episode 9, they're dressing up in cat suits. They just got saved from a terrorist situation, and they just, oh, yeah, you know, we're just waiting on Arthur, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like with Lelouch and Callan having totally different things on their mind, Lelouch is sleeping all the time now in class because he's living a double life. Also, Callan is also doing that. So, love this series, man. They're doing such an awesome job. It's awesome. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. The link is down in the description if you want to watch this episode or if you just want to see the review or if you remember what this episode about, you just wanted to see the review of what I thought about it, that's fine also. But if you want to see the full reaction, Click that link in the description, okay? Thank you guys for watching. As always, it's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Remember to leave a like on this video. As always, leave a comment in the comment section. If you have not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. More Code Geass on the way. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. And peace.